Hi, this is Michael Orl from MobileBurn.com, and we're here at the Inc. stand at Mobile World Congress 2011 in Barcelona. And we're going to take a look at Inc.'s new Cloud Touch Android powered smartphone. So, what we've done is we've tried to take all the, the uh, information that a regular customer wants and try to make it really easy and accessible for them. To start off with, we've got the, this uh, news feed widget. So every time, a uh, every time some of your friends upload something, and maybe a YouTube video, a picture, uh, or just a status update, it's, it's right there on the, on the screen. Now, of course, we do have the, you can jump straight into the, the, news, uh, the, the main news feed, if you wish. And it's, it's still there, but it's just for ease of use, for that, for that quick And that's check. your full Facebook stream right there, right? That's, yeah, that's your full Facebook You also have the people system for your five most used yep. frequently accessed contacts. Yeah, we do indeed. So we use Facebook's uh, Social Graph API for what we call the people app. So this takes the top five people that you interact with and it gives you all of their, all of their feeds. So you can scroll across and you can see all the things that they post. You can, if you wish, go into this, edit it, uh, to change the friends that you, that you have, but we, we do use, initially off the bat, uh, Facebook Social uh, Graph API. We've got events. We've got, we've got the events calendar, so this takes your Gmail account and your Facebook account, syncs it together, so you can see everything quickly and easily. In the same way the what, contacts from both of those are pulled down as well, correct? Yeah, yeah ex exactly the same. So, so straight off when you uh, do your first uh, sign-in, the Google sign-in, Facebook sign-in, it will pull it all into one place together. You've also got your notifications, which of course everyone who uses Facebook is aware of. Sure. Now you have the info key on the side of the device. Yeah, we do indeed. This here is called the info key. And what that does is when you press it, it gives you the top things that uh, you, as a, you, may, you may want to use. So it shows the date and the time, if you want to set an alarm, any available Wi-Fi as well as battery and memory, and if you want to go on silent or an airplane mode. So all you do is you click straight in and you can, you can set an alarm. And if you go and you just want to check something, when you press the key again, it will take you back to your last active screen. Now, how do we get to the main menu, the application tray, where all the apps are listed? Right, okay, so it's just this button down here, and there's all the three apps. On top of this, what we have across here is uh, links to Facebook chat, if you want to use your chat. Uh, again, so, back to the widget feed, so it's all, it's all one touch. And that bottom row there scrolls left and right, so we have more than just the on-screen ones yep, there. Yep, so you can scroll... Now, can users add icons to that, or is that fixed? That's a, that's a, that's a fixed. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the, the hardware. You've got um, it's a three and a half inch half yep. PGA display. Yep. Yep. Um, capacitive touch screen. You've got your volume keys on the sides, and then also here is uh, the uh, media key. So when you're in Spotify, mm -hmm. that's a, a play and pause. You've got a five megapixel autofocus camera. Right. And again, the uh, info key there that, that we spoke about. And when's this going to be available? Uh, this is launching April uh, in the UK, CPW and Best Buy, and then obviously uh, other markets after that. Okay, great. So that's the Ink Cloud Touch, and I'm Michael Oral from MobileBurn.com.